switch turns. So here's the switch turns, okay? So if I step forward, typically I'm gonna be going out that way, but now I'm gonna switch the arms, okay? And then I'm gonna bring it in for the twist, okay? And this kind of goes against our rule. So as I step forward on the left foot, we said the foot that gets the weight gets the arm going out, okay? So we would have been doing this, okay? But we wanna turn that way, so we're gonna put the arms the other way, okay? So instead of doing arms out, we're gonna do arms out, rotate the opposite direction, okay? So we're kind of breaking our rule, kind of going opposite on this one, just to get the wind up, and that's okay. If the arms aren't in the right position, we switch the arms. The arms have to dictate where we're going, not the, the feet. So if my arms are in the wrong spot, switch the arms. Then they get to the right spot, okay? So don't be afraid to switch your arms if they're not where you need them, put them where you need them, okay? When do you put them there? On the number, okay? So as I step, put the weight on the foot, that's when I wanna switch the arms over to the correct side where I need them, okay? So here's a little example here, so we go. Two, three, that's a hip twist. I want to do a switch turn though. So we're going to go two, three, leave them there. What? Four. Now I can switch. Okay? So I just didn't do the switch. So I left them there. So we had arm out, arm out, leave it there. Wind up on one. Okay? And then I'm ready to go. What I don't want to do is this two, three, four, crap, and then switch. Because then uh, you're going to be off time and you didn't wind up as you were doing the step, you wound up after you got to the step, which is just a little bit late. Okay, so see if you can do it already. So my arms were already there. So two, three, they're already there. I'm just gonna keep them there. One more step, four, one. And then I can do the, hip, the switch turn uh, from that position as well, okay? A couple more of these. So the uh, arms work out perfectly for the, the hip twist but they're backwards for the switch turn. So we gotta switch them for the switch turn, okay? If I step forward on this foot, normally my arm would be going out that way, but I'm gonna do the switch turn, I'm gonna put it the other way, then I can switch. And just like the hip twist, everything goes from out to in, okay? Then they can go back out again on the next step right after. So if I do a switch turn and then I walk, if I step into a switch turn and I walk, they're in for this, then I would go back to the normal arms once I go back to the normal steps, right? So I would, uh, no matter where my arms are, I would switch out to the next, uh, the correct arm again for whichever foot I was stepping onto. So if you switch the arms to do the switch turn, just go back to the normal way when you go back to the walk again, whatever step comes after that, okay? So here's a switch turn and then a side step. So we do a switch turn, okay? Now a side step. Arms go back to normal. The weight that get or the foot that gets away gets the arm going up. Okay, I'll do that to the camera so you can see. Okay, so I'm gonna do switch turn. Arms come in, side step, back to normal, back to normal, back to normal. Switch turn. The arms are wrong. Switch them, and now they're back to where we need them to be. Okay, so work on that so you can get the arms always in the right position for the wind up. That's so important. Whatever your uh, arms are doing, they need to go where you need them to be for the windup. So it's completely okay to switch them to get them to where you need them to be. So don't worry, uh, it's not a secret that you're trying to twist or something, it, it should happen. So everyone knows, okay, she's gotta wind up her body. Okay, so they're not gonna be like, why is she twisting? her arms are the wrong way. Like nobody would say that because they all know you've got to switch the arms to get there. So if I'm on the wrong one, this is going to look more awkward than just stepping to where you need them to be. Okay? So don't be afraid to break the cycle of the arms to put them where you need to be to get them for the correct windup. Okay? I'd rather you break the arms out of cycle than do the wrong turn or not do the windup for the turn. Okay, so just again, these are the general guidelines. They're not always, if we go through the steps in the syllabus, they're not always gonna match that, okay? Another example is like a New Yorker or a, a crossover, okay? This arm should come in, but it's going out. So we're gonna go against the guidelines there for the arms to do different steps as well. So don't be afraid to 
switch the arms where you need them. The turn, the wind up for the turn is more important than what your arms are doing out here, okay? So even if you had to stay, arm out, even if you had to stay there for just one turn or one step, so they're in the right spot, I'd much rather you do that because it still looks like a pretty arm, even though it's not necessarily going with what the hips are doing, it still looks like a pretty arm movement uh, because you're going to completion rather than like, I hope they don't see that I switched it, okay? It's not a secret. Just go to it. Everyone uh, has to do the same thing to get there. Uh, so just do it Ed, rather than rather than be in the not rather than not have a wind up. Okay. The arms. I'm gonna do that a couple times backwards so you can see what the arms will be doing. So let's say I do my backs up here, forward. My arms are wrong. I'm gonna do a switch turn, lead on there. Then now they can go back to the correct way, back to the guideline. Okay. So don't be afraid to switch the arms to get the wind up or the turn.